Using Split EQ, we can isolate the transient elements of an instrument or mix from the tonal elements. By soloing each, we're able to hear differences in the frequency response. Now this means that any processor that affects the ADSR also affects the frequency response. So, amplifying transients that occupy the high mids is now possible, or amplifying tonal elements in the lows is possible. By breaking the frequency response into two time zones, so to speak, you can now adjust the frequency response directly by altering the ADSR. So let's take a listen to this plugin on a mix to better understand the relationship between the frequency response and the ADSR. 